Hi, this is Esther, Developer Advocate at Directors, and today we are releasing Directors 10.2 with a host of new features, improvements, bug fixes, and optimizations. Let's take a closer look at what's new in this release. Introducing Live Preview. One of the most exciting new features in Directors 10.2 is Live Preview. This feature allows users to see how changes to their data would affect the look on their sites from within the Directors Data Studio. Users can configure a URL pattern for each collection and preview from an item page. From the live preview, users can also test their content at various device widths. We've added a number of guides to our docs to help you set up a website for live preview. This feature is a game changer for those who want to see how their content will look like before publishing it. Improved translation storage. We've overhauled how we store and retrieve translation. Prior to this release, directors stored all languages together when translations were present. This meant that every time a translation was requested, all of the data was retrieved, even if only one language was needed. Now, Directors stores translations separately, which means that it doesn't waste time retrieving data that isn't needed. This is a significant improvement that will make directors faster and more efficient for users who work with multiple languages. New environment variables for file upload safety. Version 10.2 also includes new environment variables for file upload safety settings. These variables will allow users to set file type and size limit, which will help prevent security issues and ensure that files are uploaded correctly. One significant bug that was fixed in this release caused self-hosted horizontally scaled directors instances to trigger a Chrome-based flow more than once. This was due to the fact that the various instances weren't aware of each other. Directors now utilizes Redis to synchronize scheduled flows and scheduled hooks between multiple instances connected to the same Redis instance. This fix ensures that directors works as expected even when multiple instances are running. Our community is awesome. We want to also thank our community for their contributions towards this release. Thanks to Hannes for bumping a dependency version and fixing a bug with the group accordion. And Matt for fixing the block editor interface popover styles. Directors 10.2 is now available on NPM and Docker Hub and will also be available on Directors Cloud in a few days. Thanks and see you in the next release.